had a mock or <laughs> first things first as you can see this second chapter is in a live more vlog like setting that's because this chapter is on my family and I'm not sure who all in my family, particularly my extended family, would want their pictures and videos shown in this senior book. And since I'm going to be talking about people, I'm not sure if I can show certain people. I, I need some sort of footage to show over top of it, so now you got this. Enjoy. So since in the last chapter we talked about the primary setting of my childhood, now we shall be talking about the main cast of my childhood, particularly my family. Look, there's no sugarcoating this. My family is complicated. It's like very, very, very complicated. My mom has one full-blooded sister, but their parents divorced and remarried. Their mother had a son with her second husband, and their father had a son with his second wife. He later divorced her and remarried to a third woman who already had three kids of her own to a different husband. And on my dad's side, he has three full-blooded brothers and one full-blooded sister, but their parents divorced as well. His mother never remarried, but his father did, and he adopted two daughters with her. And then, of course, a lot of my aunts, uncles, half-aunts, half-uncles, step-aunts, step-uncles have children as well. And even some of those children have children of their own, so... Yeah. It's complicated. So there you have it. That's the simplest description of my family tree I can give you. It's bananas. And the degree of dysfunction on both sides of my extended family is enough to fill 37 soap operas and put any National Lampoon movie to shame. A mildly detailed overview of it all would be approximately the length of every Harry Potter book combined. But I digress. Luckily, however, my immediate family is far less convoluted. Mostly because my parents took a look at their parents and their home lives and swore they never put their kids through what they had to go through. They wanted to be better than their parents. I have one mother, one father, and one brother. That's it. <laughs> no step-parents, no half-siblings, nada. My mom's a social worker and has been for as long as I can remember. Like me, she's constantly moving, and when she's not, she's thinking about all the things she's gonna do when she's done not moving. My mom hates problems. She feels compelled to find a solution to every problem mentioned by every person ever. It's an incredible trait, don't get me wrong, but it does have some drawbacks. Sometimes I want to handle things by myself, take responsibility for my own problems, but mom has a lot of difficulty stepping back. Also, accepting every burden as her burden understandably causes her a lot of stress. And seeing her stress causes me a lot of stress, and then we just get stuck in this vicious cycle. But at the end of the day, all the exchanging of one another's problems stems from an immense love we both share for one another. On the flip side, my dad treats stress like it's the plague. Though his job is much more intense and time consuming, as soon as he gets home he is napping, watching TV, napping, playing on his phone, napping, lounging in his beloved hot tub, napping. It continues to baffle me how he gets by far the most sleep out of everyone in our family, yet is constantly exhausted. I'm pretty sure he has sleep apnea. Anywho, despite his love of trademark naps, my dad is immensely dedicated to my mom, brother, and I. He's not as eager to solve everyone's problems as my mom is, but if any of the three of us ask for his help, he's instantly there. He's like the Flash. Furthermore, my dad is, to my mom's never-ending horror, a massive risk-taker and nonconformist. As demonstrated by his parenting motto, do as I say, not as I do. My dad's passions include discussing colleges, watching football, making breakfast, eating breakfast, telling jokes that everyone finds only mildly amusing but he thinks are hilarious, ranting about politics, spending time with my brother and I, and of course, napping. The last member of my family that I shall be discussing today is my brother, Alex. At first glance, the two of us seem nothing alike, but as many of our mutual friends have pointed out after getting to know us better, it becomes clear that that is far from the truth. We both like to discuss our random, often philosophical thoughts, go for long walks, eat nachos, and overanalyze movies. While we do, like all siblings, have the occasional squabble, we are incredibly close. Out of everyone in the world, Alex is probably the person that knows me best. 
I love my family. Moving on, next chapter. <laughs>